I'm Adam. I'm from England. I've been in China for about 18 months now. Uh, I started off at our Jinshan branch, so I worked there for about a year, and now I'm at our Daru branch. It's something that I'd always wanted to do, uh, and back home in England I was kind of working a dead-end job. Um, my wage just went on bills, I didn't have much money for myself at the end of the, the month. Um, so I decided to take the plunge uh, and China has always been somewhere that kind of interested me and kind of fascinated by the Chinese culture. So yeah, I decided, why not? Let's come to China. Um, obviously, I think before you come out, you do have kind of trepidation. You know, everything is going to be new, new continent, new city, a new job. Um, but at the end of the day, you kind of got to embrace that change as well. So I was kind of excited to embrace all the new things that were going to happen to me. There are always lots of opportunities to develop with York, um, so I decided to sign on for an, an extra year. I became a senior teacher in Daru, um, and now I'm actually the, the academic coordinator here. So I think that was a big thing for me, um, the areas or the, the opportunities you do have to develop. Um, they're always popping up in York, so that was a, that was a big factor in me signing on. I remember as soon as I landed, there was someone from York there, there was a senior teacher from the Jinshan branch waiting for me and they had a bit of food and a bit of water and that was, that was kind of so welcome. It was nice to see a fellow teacher as soon as you get there, so it's kind of that instant kind of feeling of you're going to get looked after at this place, a bit kind of a bit of relief, so yeah, that was, that was really good. Um, I really love Fugil. It's, it's, a, it's a modern city, but there's still kind of lots of kind of heritage and Chinese heritage here as well. Um, you do have a network of friends through, through other foreign teachers and uh, you probably become friends with lots of the TAs as well, so it's kind of, you make lots of Chinese friends. So there's always lots of things to do. In comparison to back home, living is relatively cheap. So it's, yeah, uh, that's a good thing. Um, so yeah, I, I really enjoy it. Um, yeah, I really enjoy visiting the temples. Um, I like climbing Mount Kusha, which is <laughs> climbing the mountains a great Chinese thing to do, so that's, that's quite fun. Luckily, the job does afford you a lot of chance to travel. Like on the weekend, you can go to Shanghai or Hong Kong. Um, or also visit somewhere called the Yellow Mountains. You do that on the weekend, which are beautiful, stunning mountains. Um, also outside of Hong Kong, I've been to quite a few places. So last year I spent a week in Japan, uh, found Mount Fuji, so that was a very good experience. Uh, also went to uh, Indonesia, spent a few days sitting on a beach in Bali. Uh, Cambodia as well, went there for a few days, I've been to visit Siem Reap and Angkor Wat. Uh, I've got a holiday for Fiji coming up in a couple of weeks as well. Uh, and also hoping to visit Vietnam soon. So there are plenty of chances to kind of travel around, which is a really good aspect of the job. I mean, this is my first teaching job. So I remember before I came out, I was obviously a bit nervous, I think naturally as you would be. Um, but as soon as you get here, you do get two, two weeks training. Um, you kind of, uh, you know, you're, you're immersed straight away. You're uh, observing lessons from your first day, and then you your team teaching, and then gradually, after that two week period, you take over your own classes. Um, I remember thinking from the, from the start, in maybe three weeks' time, taking over my own classes, a bit daunting. Um, but the structure is in place, so it builds you up there. So, so by the time your two weeks of training is finishing, you're kind of raring to go to kind of take over your own classes. So, yeah. When I was deciding I wanted to move abroad, I did look at lots of different schools, um, but I found that the York's, the York's website was, was very informative, so I was looking at different schools and I had lots of questions about these schools, whereas I look at the York websites and most of those questions have been answered on the website, so I was very impressed. As soon as it started, I found, thought that York was fantastic. They send you an email telling you exactly what you need to do, exactly where you need to get the things from. So you just you send the documents to them. Um, you do need to get some things kind of notarized and legalized, and York will give you, um, they'll send you an email telling you which company to use. So at every kind of step of the way, York are there guiding you. So I feel it's a very, very helpful thing, really fantastic for me. Um, work week starts on a Wednesday. Uh, which you quickly get used to. Um, so I have to start at um, 2 o'clock on a Wednesday, but when I first started teaching, um, it's, it's 4.30, you'd have to come in back. Uh, and I finish by 8.30. Uh, that's the same on Tuesday, and, on a, sorry, on a Wednesday and a Thursday. 
Uh, on a Friday, we all have a team meeting, so everyone's in at half past two, one, two, half past two, again till nine o'clock, and then you work Saturday and Sunday, 8.30 till five, 5.30, uh, and then your weekends are a, a Monday and Tuesday, so you have to get used to calling a Monday and Tuesday your weekend, <laughs> but just get used to it. Uh, you will be a little bit busy in summer course, um, so you'll have your regular calculate classes you would have, uh, but over the six weeks of summer course, you will typically have an, one extra class per day, so on a Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, and you'd have to work a class on a Tuesday as well. But you wouldn't have to work a full day on a Tuesday, so it would only be in for two and a half hours on that Tuesday. Um, yeah, it's not the easiest, but it, it hopefully won't kill you, so it's not too bad. And at the end of the six weeks of uh, summer course, you do get nine days off, so most teachers kind of jet away somewhere for a nice rest after those nine days. It's, it's on the 15th floor, luckily there is a lift, um, doesn't often break down. Um, yeah, it's a two bedroom apartment, so I live there with another teacher, Josh, he's at a different branch. Um, so there's two of us in there, we have our own separate bedrooms, our own bathrooms, it's a nice living area, it's a kitchen area as well, so it's got all the kind of facilities you, you need as well, so yeah, it's a very nice apartment. You know, you, there's, there's a big community of York teachers out here, so if you have any questions, you know, feel free to just uh, ask one of us and I'm sure we'll get back to answer them.